It's going great. We're in the kitchen cooking with the Newport Convention and Visitors Bureau. Here with Chef Kevin Thiel from One Bellevue at Hotel Viking. Good morning. Good morning. Now I know we're really gearing up for the annual Kinsale Festival. Right. And to get really in the Irish spirit, we're going to be making some Irish style salmon with champ potatoes. Yep. All right, let's dive in. What are the different ingredients uh, we're going to need gonna for this recipe? We're going to make a seared salmon mm -hmm. first with uh, mashed potatoes. It makes a champ mashed potatoes as an Irish mashed potato with Irish bacon and onions. So we're going to use some Irish bacon and chives bacon in makes there. Bacon better. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to make a little uh, Jameson cream sauce with shrimp to pour over the top. And then you we're going to You just said the magic word yeah, to me. Jameson. I'm a Jameson girl, so. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to garnish it with a little shaved fennel and tarragon salad with some uh, lime lemon, some citrus. So. Okay, now I don't mm -hmm. usually cook with fennel. Yeah. I actually didn't even really know what it looked like until now. So what do we look, at, look for when we're at the market looking for fennel? Uh, fresh green, uh, vibrant color to it. Uh, hard, you don't want it to be soft. You want the little leaves at the end to be nice and green and okay. not brown. And how about salmon? As I told you, salmon. I eat salmon when it's <laughs> yeah. um, sushi, so this is going to be my yeah. first time really eating it. Yeah. I'm excited, but what about if I'm shopping for um, salmon? Very nice pink color, uh, not slimy when you touch it, and when you push it, it mm -hmm. should bounce back up and not stay down. Nice. Um, and so. what kind of utensils are we going to be needing when we're cooking this dish? Uh, we have three saute pans, so we're mm -hmm. going to sear salmon in one. We're going to use mashed potatoes and make our sauce in the other one. So. Oh, awesome. So you're actually going to be making the mashed potatoes in a pan Yeah, we're going to crisp up that bacon and then fold the mashed potatoes into it. Oh, that sounds delightful. And then this bit is going to be the sauce and the dressing on top, yep. correct? exactly. Nice job. All right. Well, we're very excited, myself included. I can't wait to be eating this salmon. And we're going to head back live to the Bank of America Skating Center. Back to you guys. So after seeing all that chewing, I'm now hungry and I'm smelling <laughs> some amazing things. We're right. back in the kitchen with Jeff, uh, <laughs> Chef Kevin Thiel from One Bellevue at the Newport Hotel Viking. And we're going to start putting the salmon yeah. to work, aren't we? Yep, we're going to start uh, searing the salmon. Mm -hmm. And while I do that, we could talk about the uh, Kinsale Festival yes. that's going on in Newport mm -hmm. from March... 8th to 12th. Okay. Uh, a couple of restaurants, including ourselves, will be offering an uh, Irish menu with like um, appetizer, entree, and dessert Ooh, going on. That. So to uh, um, replicate our sister city, Kinsale, in Ireland. So mm -hmm. um, we'll have this salmon on our menu as well. Great. Now, where so. can people find out more information? I know that we have the little leaflets here. Right, on uh, gonewport.com. Mm -hmm. You can find all the information on the Kinsale Irish Festival. And, and the dates again for the festival one time? 8th to the 12th. All right. March. So people are going to be able to have right. some of this wonderful salmon, the Irish-style salmon with champ potatoes. So we're going to be searing the salmon right. for how long? We're going to sear it uh, two minutes on each side and then finish it in the oven. Okay. And while we finish it in the oven, we're going to put everything else together. Okay, and what should we be preheating our oven to? Uh, 375 degrees, so once you sear it, we can flip it over and then put it in the oven. It'll finish cooking in about 7 to 8 minutes. And when you're sear uh, searing at what temp? Medium? Uh, high. You want the okay. pan hot before you sear it so the fish doesn't stick, and you don't want to play around with the fish while it's searing. Just let it do its thing for two minutes, and then All we'll right. flip it over. Well, I'm not going to play around with it, but we are going to send you back to the skating center and check out how things are going there. We are back in the kitchen cooking up with Chef Kevin Thiel, who is from One Bellevue at Hotel Viking. Now the salmon is in the oven, right. and we've got some bacon here yep. sitting on the stove. We'll and what are we going to do with it? Irish bacon. We're getting it crispy. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add some mashed potatoes My right favorite. to that. And then incorporate everything to there. Let's give it a mix. Mix it all up. Get all that right. thick bacon Throw in there. Get all that bacon in there. While that's warming up, mm -hmm. we're going to take a little bit of olive oil and we're going to saute some garlic. That's a lot of garlic. And shallots. Nice. And shallots, you were telling me before, are just sweeter. Yeah, it's a sweet, onion. sweeter onion. We use it in uh, vinaigrettes. They're great for sauces. Are those the little onions that are about this big? Yeah. I've seen those. Big, right? Okay. And we're going to add some shrimp to this as well. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be kind of the sauce for our salmon dish. Okay. So we'll put all these in there. 
And now, now the, the fun happens. part, there we're going to go. put some Jameson in there. Put some more. Really good at that flip. <laughs> <laughs> so the shrimp's going to cook in that Jameson with the garlic and shallots. I love we're just going to finish it a little too. bit of cream. Mm -hmm. So that's going to reduce and kind of make our sauce for the dish. And this is getting hot now, so we're going to add um, some chives yeah. to this for some color, a little bit more flavor. Beautiful. Let's see that again together. And for the top of our salmon, we're just going to take a little bit of fennel, a squeeze of, oops, a squeeze of lime and lemon. Nice. And we have some fresh tarragon also that we're going to put tarragon. in there. Tarragon. Some salt and pepper as well. And we're going to mix this up. And now we could start to Got some bubbles plate going the on salmon. Here. <laughs> yeah, that's going to reduce. And we could start to plate the salmon now. All right. And now the salmon, how long has it been cooking in the oven? Just seven minutes, okay. so it's just about done now. All right. And we put the nice mashed potatoes on the bottom here. Oh, those look lovely with the bacon. Right. And we're going to take the salmon out of the oven. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Smells good. And put that right on top of the mashed potatoes yep. there. Little bed for it. All right. Let me make sure this is going and that's reducing now. And now you were saying that this is one of the meals that you'll be serving at right. the Kinsale Festival, right? Right. This will be one of the uh, couple dishes that we'll be serving from, again, March 8th to March 12th mm -hmm. every night in one Bellevue restaurant. So what other dishes us. are typical from that area? Um, that you might be sirloin steak. I mean, people think of in Irish food, it's like corned beef and yeah. cabbage. But, I mean, they're doing a lot more things out there mm -hmm. than what people think, especially Kinsale's the uh, like cap food yeah. capital of Ireland. So we want to, like, um, show the people what they're show doing it out let there. let you taste so, it. Well, yeah. let's get this one going so right. we can... So this is the shrimp sauce. And we're just going to pour some of this over the top mm -hmm. here. It's looking beautiful. We're going to have that salad right on it, right, right next to it. All these amazing flavors. And we're putting the salad. Well, thanks so much. I'm going to be tasting this once it cools down for one second. We're going to head back live to the Bank of America Skating Center.